Hello everyone, Jeshaf here. Today I'm gonna disassemble the GA-B001 G-Shock watch, one of the best one released last year, but that is just for the exterior parts. How about the interior computer? Let's have a closer look. I got my tools here and a friend to get me company throughout this whole process. Let's open it up, starting with the screws on the sides. It's just two screws, pretty easy to remove, just standard screws used on, I would say most G-Shock watch, you could probably get the same screws out of a DW600 series G-Shock of any kind. All right, we got one part and two parts. So this is the easiest thing to clean or customize if you're into that. You could just custom paint this one or find a replacement parts out there if you own say a fully blacked out version i guess changing this to a bright color accents would probably change the entire look easy not affecting anything so this is something that most people can do carry on to the next part the strap the screws for the strap is different from most g-shock watch so it is unique do not lose those then here is the strap bezel, I would say. This one comes up first, the longer part, and then the shorter part, though you could remove either way, but still, that's how it was uh, built in. Here is it. It looks kind of like the G-056 Vintage Polygon G-Shock watch in its build structure or in its idea. Though, however, that watch has a lot more customizable parts, say the button guard and also a frame on top of it. In this case, there's literally nothing else. Even if you look at this watch bezel part here, there's not even a button guard at all. Everything comes from this square carbon core, carbon reinforced casing. Similar construction as I would say a ProTrack watch. So that's unique, right? And then let me talk about the strap here. The reason why I go with this smoke black colorway so that I could see this orange part. And also the plan is for me to customize this thing to a different colorway in the future. But it turns out, Check this out guys, you cannot customize this part at all. It is molded inside the strap from factory. So it is permanent in this orange colorway, which makes this watch not as customizable. Well, unless you change the entire thing. Though you could try to change the band keeper, but it is unique to this design. So look at that shape, it is unique. So it's great. And this is the buckle, also unique to this watch only. You could change that to metal, but then it will ruin the look. Well, I wouldn't recommend that. Now this part is not customizable at all unless I could find a third party part. Now the casing itself, square shape which is unique and I have to point something out, something that I just noticed. If you look at the glass from the from this angle right here, you'll notice that it is slanted in shape. Unlike every G-Shock watch that have all parts of the glass just pushed down into the casing itself. This one pop up a bit and it is slanted, meaning if you scratch the glass, if you don't want to polish it, you cannot just find a third party parts and just replace the glass as it is because the shape itself make it impossible. It's just not gonna blend as well with this watch bezel part here. Also same applies to the G-B01 JSON model and because it, it didn't fully push into the casing, Casio need to put extra reinforcement, I would say, on the side of it. If you look closely, there's a black thing here. That part is soft and I guess that is some kind of glue that hold the glass in place stronger because I mean it didn't fully submerge into the casing so they need some reinforcement on the side making it less customizable all right so changing the glass is going to be very hard and you not need some skills it is doable of course and then you're probably going to ruin this ring here so I wouldn't recommend you do that all right that's just for the casing itself of course you can see all the close-up and let's carry on to the back plates now Here we go, let's open it up in 3, 2, 1. All right, puzzle through speaker down there, AH2 codes, nothing important here. Anyway, that's the back cushioning, which I guess, it looks kind of different from the AGA2100 Casio, the basics one, even though the function is roughly the same though. Let me bring in an example. This is a GA2100 G-Shock watch, right? If you look at the back, it has this metal part here that's covered most part of the circuit board, but in this case, let me remove this cushioning padding here, not really important. 
There you go. Notice the different right away. And I'm guessing because this watch has Bluetooth function, this watch didn't, so I guess that explains some component over there. But everything else is exactly the same, as far as I can see at least. And even though it looks similar from the front. Now, let's pull it out. Just like that, all right? Now, here's another thing here, all right? Notice that there's another part that is still inside here. That's you're gonna need to remove the glass in order to customize this black ring around here. It's not even a mini marker, just some aesthetics, I guess, which makes it impossible to customize without affecting this ring. I would guess for O-ring, you know, for water resistant and all that. So this part also not as easily customizable as you could on the Cassie hook. Yeah, not a good score so far. Not a good G-Shock watch for, you know, most G-Shock watch fans out there who like to customize your watch. One thing that could customize, I think, is this index marker over here. It featured, well, not a single part like most G-Shock watch where it didn't connect over here because there's a light uh, light bulb, the LED light bulb from that 5 o'clock position. But this one's usually just double-sided, so I'm gonna try to pull it off just like that. Alright, fairly easy, you know? Look at that. This part is customizable. If you could find third party parts, perhaps find one that it could glow in the dark due to how large the index marker is. If this part could glow in the dark, it could change the entire appearance of the watch, make it better a little bit. The face plate in black in this case could also be customizable if you remove the hands and the sub dial. Notice there's one, two, three, four, five points on it. So that is to lock this index marker in place so it won't just move around because it's not connected notice the separation area over here pretty cool right this one is pretty flexible but you could break it well okay <laughs> that's pretty much it there's nothing much to talk about here and let's give this watch a score i would say this part hard to customize for most people out there but you could if you could find a different color for the face down you know like a casio tiffany colorway out there this part is customizable this part is customizable, the rest, this part could customizable as well, but it's gonna be very hard to find a good parts out there, but so that left up with this only. Making this watch least customizable G-Shock out there, however, there's some good point on the construction on the casing. Notice that there's no lug whatsoever, so you cannot add any kind of watch band at all on the market, except for this kind only. That's bad part. The good part is that you don't have to worry about the lug breaking whatsoever when you abuse this thing. The only thing that probably could break is the strap itself or the entire case which is, well, it is stronger, almost as strong as metal so you don't have to worry about that. Meaning safe and cleaning probably gonna be quite easy as well just remove the strap and just clean this hard case. That's a lot of uh, indentation there, it's gonna be quite hard to get a brush in but doable so cleanliness and um, long-term strength, I guess, should be fine. But customizability? No. This is not for those who like to customize the watch. And with that said, I hope you guys learned something from this video. Shout out to Bio Japan for making this possible. They are the sponsor for this video. Check the link down in the description box. Sign up and subscribe to the channel to see more of this kind of content. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.